Hello, Reformers, and welcome back to the Conquerors of Korchorn. Now, when we left off, we had just failed yet another quest, and unfortunately enough, I have also now had a couple of difficulties with the caravan quest as well, so I've now had to head back to Swinmore and acquire yet another one from the Guild Master. So, yes, as we can see here, we do have a couple of units right now. And we are going to be upgrading them to infantry. Now, these guys are also probably going to be upgraded to footmen, too. I want to try and get a really nice, solid base of infantry before we focus on any of the ranged units. So, as we can see here, it's actually a quest to hunt down some troublesome bandits. We have 30 days to do this, which is absolutely fantastic. And so, we will be heading on over here and taking on the troublesome bandits, hopefully, before night falls. That would be rather nice. So... There are only 39 bandits here, and I am very hopeful that we will be able to take a couple of them prisoner, because obviously we may come across a ransom broker, and we do have quite a decent amount of prisoner management, so I would say that that's actually pretty nice to see. So let's, yeah, let's, let's go into a shield wall. Why not? Let's go into a shield wall here and just test out a couple of tactics. Why not? Even though this is completely unnecessary versus bandits, we may as well try to do something along those lines, maybe try to charge them in now a little bit as well. Obviously that does, I believe, disable the current formation, but wow. Who would have thought these guys were all on horses? I certainly did not, but nevertheless we are going to be absolutely fine, I assume, because we are going to be walking into some of our units here, and we're going to be helped very, very soon indeed. Hopefully we'll be able to take this guy off his horse. Yes, there we go, and he is now taken out. Excellent. So now we can actually start to deal some damage. There's a nice unconscious blow right there, and we will hopefully be dealing some damage to that one too. Excellent. Okay, well, there it is. That seems to be very nice indeed. We did, well, yes, we still lost eight units, unfortunately enough. Let's try not to get headshot here, shall we? Let's try and eliminate him. No, you cannot... We cannot try to flank us there. Oh, yes, a nice shield bash there, too. And thankfully enough, many of our units do actually have clubs, too. So this is seeming to be a very good choice of unit for us to use. The sheer stone units do appear to have quite a few blunt weapons. So we are going to be acquiring quite a few prisoners. Hopefully, we can improve our prisoner management in due time as well. But obviously, what we want to do for the most part is improve our strength so that we can wear this male shirt. Because right now, obviously... We are wearing something that is not great. It is okay, but not great. And we actually have a couple of horses here. Hmm, that might actually be really nice for us to sell. Maybe for us to use, in fact. Hmm, let's just see here. Actually, not that great. Not that great. They do have a little bit more in the way of stats. A very minor increase. So I suppose we'll take the white horse. Why not? And we'll use some Nomad's Boots as well, plus one to leg armor there. Not really a great increase, but I think it should be okay. Ooh, a Nordic Shield. That might actually help us out a little bit more than the Wooden Heater Shield. Even though the resistance on this is a lot better, as you can see, the HP differences are staggering. The Nordic Shield actually almost doubles the HP on the Heater Shield, so I think that that would probably be a better idea. And we'll now just take a couple of pieces of loot as well. As you can see, we also get 268 of the currency to actually go to our inventory too, so that's actually wonderful. So now, let us head on over to the Guildmaster. And there we have it. We have now improved our relation once again. We had actually lost quite a bit of relation with the failures that we had so far seen. And there's, yeah, 70 of the currency, unfortunately enough. Not really that good. Aha, one of the herdsmen here is looking for... Oh, take his cattle. Yeah, we're going to try to take the cattle, but... If it is all to do with following, then maybe. But if it's to do with pushing them along, then probably not. Do they follow me? Yes, they do. Excellent. Okay, so this is going to be perfectly fine. But I would like to head into the tavern first off, just to make sure that we are not missing any ransom brokers who we have just found. Excellent. 
So let's just see whether we can actually sell all of these. Yes, 1,300 once again. Wow, that's a very good amount right here. Okay, so here is a potential companion. Greetings and well met, sir. Care to share a drink with a wayward vagabond? That would be fine. What's your story, young man? My story is long and full of hardship. I relate to you what I can. I am the son of the Kamishamir Armagon. I was sent to Senegoch to foster as a squire for a Krimish lord. My father had prevent, befriended before the year, before the war for the Shimmering Isles. Before the year? <laughs> my first years, that's exactly what I saw just there. My first years here were happy enough. I befriended the Lord's children and fell in love with the dewy forests and morning mist of Senegoch's mountains. After the Shimmering Isles War, the atmosphere in the castle soured. Tensions rose as I was seen as one of the enemy. Just another filthy desert rat come to leech off of Krimnan's prosperity. When the first Inead landing party raised the village of Marlon in Kalantia, my foster was forced to evict me from his household. I used what I had learned during my years in my foster's custody to come into the service of a knight, Clement Dawn, and made a living serving him as a squire. Dawn was a chivalrous and kind man who treated me well. I came to see him as a friend. Then, an unfortunate encounter with a bandit party ended in the death of our party, and my horrible maiming. I survived only by laying amongst my fallen friends, feigning death. If you're looking for work, then I can find a spot for you. Oh, fairly skilled in first aid. And he's joining for free. Oh, that is absolutely amazing. Okay, well, that is great. A free companion, and on top of that, finding a ransom broker. What luck. We are getting some good luck right there. Okay, so now, seeing as we have a rather large party, I feel it would be a pretty good idea. Wait a minute. We probably want to exit here real quick, just to make sure that we are going to be giving him a couple of pieces of loot, just to make sure that he has enough to defend himself. He's actually using a dagger right now, so I'm going to be giving him a rusty Nordic sword. Or maybe a rusty arming sword. Ah, he can't use that. He doesn't have enough strength, unfortunately. But we can give him a horse, maybe. Let's just see. Yes, we can give him a horse. I think we can probably give him a better horse. Yes, we can. Excellent. And so now, let's just see. Okay, so his boots are better. His robe is better than what I have to give him, maybe? No, it is actually worse. So let's give him the leather jerkin. And he has an eye patch on, which is rather cool. I have to say. And now, let us now... Hmm. Yes, we'll just give him that cap too. Do we have any gloves? Any good gloves for him? Well, we do have gloves, but they are terrible. They actually don't give him anything apart from the fact that they look kind of cool. So, we may as well just give that to him too. Okay. Well, now, that does mean that we can head into the marketplace and we can actually sell the rest of our loot here. Don't really need anything... Even the horses really aren't too worth it, in my opinion. So we'll just sell those two. And wow, this... Whoa, the goods merchant has 8,000. Over 8,000. Drachmai. That is just absolutely... Wow, I am very impressed. So, yes, okay. That will be fine. And we'll then be taking some grain, some fruit, and some fine sausages. There we go. Sounds good to me. Okay. Well, that appears to be that. Now we do need to take these cattle to Alston. Where is Alston? That is indeed going to be an issue. So let us look at our notes and we'll then be trying to find it. We need to go to the U's. There it is. Okay, so show on map. It's, ooh, it's to the north. Okay. And it would be the furthest, yes, the furthest blue city north. Okay, well, we're going to be making our way over there. Of course, first off, I would like to level up one of these infantry into the higher level. These are the first stage of the heavy infantry. We are going to try and get some pikemen as well, and maybe just use a pike ourselves too. So let's get 20 crossbowmen there as well. Can we actually get... Oh yes, there we go. 20 crossbowmen, thank you very much. So yes, that may have been a little bit too much, but Considering we now have almost a critical mass of crossbowmen, I feel as though we will do a lot better. So, ooh. We might actually want to engage these fellows right here. 
They have four prisoners, but they are actually pretty good prisoners as far as I'm aware. So let's try to track these guys down. Chase them down, will we? Yes, we will. There we go. So now let us take to the field. 47 against 22. And we'll try and get our units into a really, really good position here. So, okay, this is probably going to have to do, unfortunately enough. So let's get our archers here, let's get our infantry over there, and let's try and get a nice shield war going on, even though these guys probably will fall before us rather easily. We are going to try our very best. Let's try and get a shield wall over here, thank you. Okay, so let's try also to, yeah, not use our crossbow, thank you very much. I had not changed our weapon, unfortunately. Okay, that guy has a spear. I need to be a little bit careful about those. Yes, almost, almost taking him out. They don't have that much experience or HP, so we should, in theory, be able to eliminate them no problem at all. So, yes, unfortunately, we are getting a little bit caught up here. There we go, that's a little better. We do need to change this fellow to cavalry as well, so we must remind ourselves to do just that. Unfortunately, we don't really have a very high space to use here for our crossbowmen to gain the most advantage. So there is that to take into account, unfortunately enough. And we are gonna be attempting to stay alive here as well. I think we probably wanna charge in our units right now. We really do need to, because obviously we do have a couple of ranged units that are currently dealing a lot of damage to us right now. Yes, knock them unconscious, excellent. Let's try and stay out of the way, out of all of these Bardishes, pole arms, and all kinds of other things. Sounds good to me, anyway. Ah, yep, there we go. We are eliminating them. Hopefully our crossbowmen will be able to eliminate some of the other runners and stragglers. And there we have it. Very nice indeed. Now, let's just see what kind of prisoners we have rescued. Squire Adventurers. These guys are very good. Oh, they seem very good, at least. Now, this guy is a monster. If he dies in our first battle, I'm going to be very disappointed, but hopefully he will not. So, let us just take the remaining enemy's prisoner, and we will be taking... Oh, yes, excellent. Some male boots, exactly what I want to see right there. And maybe we could use a spear as well instead of our crossbow. I think that might be a good idea. Sounds good. Sounds good. We're going to be taking the rest of these, though, because obviously they do sell for quite a bit. And I think that will be it. Yeah, thank you very much. Okay, so now, obviously, all of our units are actually leveling up relatively fast. We have some veteran crossbowmen now, and marksmen, I believe, are the highest level of the crossbowmen. Let's get one pikeman now as well, so that we can be a little better against cavalry of course and now we have leveled up yes we've leveled up twice in actual fact so we're going to be getting another two points in strength and i think we'll probably go for another in shield and let's see what else do we want to have here do we want to go for another in shield i'm not entirely sure about that to be honest well two points in strength will definitely be the way we go and then maybe some athletics or maybe some hmm I'm actually unsure, because we have a medic now, technically. He is a first aid person. Maybe he has a couple of points in surgery as well, so I suppose the only other thing we could go for, maybe some weapon master, and, uh, well, we may as well level iron flesh just a little bit, and we'll get some points in pole arms, just in case we start to use a little bit of those as well. We do have a spear, after all. Now we have 89 in both, one-handed and pole arm. Very nice. Okay. So now we can make our way on once again to Alston, which is up there. We need to be a little careful now because we have suffered a couple of casualties. Oh, yes, we also need to change this fellow's tag to cavalry. There we go. That's a lot better. Okay, so these guys are moving at 3.8. We're moving at 6. So we do need to pause every now and again, but I think we'll do okay. I think we'll do okay. We need to head this way by the looks of things. Maybe we could stop off at a nearby town, something along those lines. Whoa! Yes. Let's be careful of those guys, shall we? 5.8. We're moving at 6, so they really cannot catch us. So let's try to draw them around, shall we? 
Try and draw them around and not get caught. Please? Yes. Oh, there we go. We're making our way around. That is excellent. Now let them not have reinforcements, please. No more reinforcements. Oh my. Wow, they're actually moving really fast. We need to make our way over to Shearstone, I feel, just to lose them. Island Revenants. Island Havoc Warriors. Well, they do mean business, don't they? How many days do we have? 29 days to move the cattle. That's absolutely fine. No problem at all there. So, yes, we are being pursued rather dramatically here, but thankfully enough, we have arrived at our destination, one of them at least, and we're going to be selling the remaining pieces of loot that we acquired from our previous endeavors, and I think we'll sell that as well. There we go. Not bad. Now, maybe we could find a ransom broker, a mercenary lancer, obviously going to be quite expensive to hire there. If only we had a couple more of them, we might actually be able to take on these warriors, but I have a feeling they're quite high level, so yes, maybe we want to just leave them to it. Oh, we could recruit some noble recruits here for 1,200. Should we do that? I actually am quite unsure about it right now, because as you can see, we already have a weekly cost of 500, and we do only have 2,700 in total, so let's be a little cautious about that, shall we? Well, let's head on to Distar Castle and wait for some time just to get this guy away from us. Ah, oh, why am I besieging? I don't want to besiege this. I want to wait here for some time, thank you. There we are. Okay, so they have gone off, and hopefully we'll be able to wait here as well for our cattle to catch up, so let's wait here once again. Now see where the cattle is. They're going to take quite a while to get back. The Wicklands! Ah, the Wicklands and the Kingdom of Shearstone have made peace with each other, which is wonderful to see, because obviously we did see a couple of units actually deal some damage to each other from the adversarial factions. Okay, where are the cattle? I actually have no idea. Are they coming at all? Or... Have I just absolutely lost them? Oh no, there they are. Okay, so they were actually just waiting for us because we went a little bit too far away from them. So yes, now they will begin following us once again. That is excellent. Now, hopefully we'll be able to avoid that party of very, very scary units once again. But otherwise, we're just going to be making our way over and trying to hop to the various towns. I think that will probably see us well. 388 drachmae is being now taken from us. Ooh, there's a tournament. Probably not going to be doing that right now. I'm usually relatively bad at the tournaments early on. So let's just see here. Ooh, wow. Yeah, a lot of units here need to be very careful of. You never know when they're going to be wanting to pursue you across the land of Korchorn. Yes. Okay, so, yeah, let's get that cattle moving on here a little bit more. So, Alston is very far away, isn't it? Oh my goodness. Okay, well, if we can find a couple of other bandit parties, like, for example, these guys, yeah, they're actually neutral with us. I do believe so it's a little bit unfortunate that they are neutral because otherwise we would have been able to take them on maybe but they seem to be quite powerful anyway it seems the cattle has now stopped once again yes it has ah these quests are these quests oh well we will have to do it okay let's head on noble adventurers once again and i think i'm actually going to cut away right now because it seems as though this is a bit of a lull in the action and if we do come across any bandit parties or anything that we see as an opportunity, then of course I will cut back. Okay, so we have come very close to Alston. Unfortunately enough, we did not encounter any other bandits or anything along those lines, so we're just going to be taking these cattle in and being rewarded for our efforts, hopefully. So let's get them a little bit closer. There we go. Okay, thank you very much. So now let us see, who do I need to speak to here? Talk to the Guildmaster to claim your reward. Do I need to actually talk to the same Guildmaster? It probably is, isn't it? Yes, probably is. Okay, so I need somebody to teach the... Oh. 
Mm, maybe. Okay. Why not? Deal with the looters. Let us do that. Let us deal with the looters. Hmm. It's not them. Ah, there's the looters. Okay, well, <laughs> this seems to be a very, very early quest. As you can plainly see, we have vastly outnumbered them already. We do have a spear, which I am going to attempt to use a little bit more as we can do all some devastating blows with it, hopefully. Okay, so these guys, thankfully enough, do not have horses, so we will be able to just get over here real fast. Really don't need to use any formations for this, obviously. So, let's just get our units into a good position. Where is that really strong unit? There is the strong unit. Oh my goodness. I can only imagine what he's going to be like in combat. Just absolutely devastating to our enemies. Now let's see if I can actually use our spear a little bit here. Maybe. There we go. Excellent. We're dealing some damage with it. That's all I ask for. Dealing some damage with it. <laughs> okay. Well, obviously we're not taking these guys prisoner, so that's a little bit unfortunate. So I'm going to switch to my club now. See if we can actually get a couple of them knocked unconscious. Obviously our crossbowmen are dealing some pretty considerable damage already anyway, so nothing really to worry about there. I am taking a lot of damage from these looters, in fact, so really do need to level up our Iron Flesh just a little bit more, just to get maybe around 50, 54, 55 HP seems pretty good. And we'll take one of those prisoner, thank you. Ooh, there's actually a couple of pieces of loot there that could be worth selling as well. And we'll head into Alston and see if there is a ransom broker. We've been very, very lucky so far, but it's unlikely we will be lucky yet again. Is this another companion? No, it's actually a traveler. Okay. Well, we're going to be heading up here and just seeing whether we can actually find one. But if not, then so be it. Nope, it appears not. Okay. Well, there is actually a port here as well. Shall we visit the port? Yeah, we could actually purchase a ship for 10,000. Ouch. Well, we currently do not have that, but we will soon if we keep up our ransom brokering and slave trading. Yes. So, without further ado, I will be ending this episode off here. And so, I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.